Alright, so today we have a video on the look I'm wearing right now. I'm like sliding off this chair right now. Uh, the hair's different. We'll get into that. So I've never really seen one of these videos before and I figured it might be fun. You don't need to spend a ton of money buying 50 different makeup products. You can use the same product for a lot of different things. So I'm just going to show you guys how I use the same product for multiple different purposes. And we're going to do this look. This is a talk through shadow and schmooze style video. So if you guys like shadow and schmooze and you want to see more, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. My arms are so sore from Jillian Michaels, it literally hurts to like lift up an eyeshadow brush right now. If you want to see how I got this look, you're in the right place, just keep watching. All right, this is fun. I'm excited. This is my first video filming back from Iceland and Norway. I'm gonna be having a whole travel vlog coming soon. I have a shit ton of footage to like go through and edit. So that is coming. Uh, but different hair. This is not my real hair, unfortunately. This is a wig. But I am thinking of adding like silver and gray to my hair. So I'm just playing around. It's makeup. It's hair. It's fun. Who cares? I have a whole shoe box of makeup to use today. This is what life's coming to. So this is kind of like a how to use products multiple ways video. I think a lot of people think you need 25,000 different things of makeup. If you're on a budget or you're running out the door or you need like a quick makeup routine, using the same product for multiple things can be super helpful. So I'm just going to put makeup on my face and share with you guys how I use products in different ways. I did already do my base and I'm glad I didn't film it because I'm not a fan of this combo. I started out with mixing the L'Oreal Infallible Pro with this new Estee Edit flash illuminator. I thought it would be good because it was darker and this is a little bit too light for me, but it just like didn't mix well at all and I think this foundation is like I just need to trash this. It's like way too old. And so then I ended up adding some of the Tarte Double Wear Double Duty whatever this is gel foundation over top, which kind of worked, but I just feel like I have 10,000 layers of makeup on my face. I'm not sure if this video will be up first, but if it is, I'll leave it down below. I did a whole first impression review on this foundation. Not gonna lie, this wig is pretty toasty. So I clearly have my brows on right now. I'm gonna go ahead and shape them a little bit by adding this Cover FX uh, Perfect Pencil Crayon. This is new from them. It comes in 10 different shades, which is pretty cool. And I have the shade NNX Light. And this is Pale Princess friendly. I was super happy that this shade is actually light enough for me. I've been using this on my waterline. You can use this to carve out your brows, which is what we're going to do today. And also around your lips to uh, shape it up like your lipstick or whatever. It's waterproof, so it stays on your waterline really nicely. And I'm just a fan of this shade. This is only 20 bucks on Sephora, or you can get it on the Cover Effects website which I thought is pretty good considering that you can use it for like three or four different things. So I'm going to go ahead and just outline my brow to give it some more definition. And it feels really nice and creamy, but not like too creamy where it's sliding all over the place, you know what I mean? And you can just go ahead and blend it out with your finger. Bam, we have brows. I'm not going to add it to the top because I think this shade is a tiny bit too light for the foundation I'm wearing right now. And we can ignore my nails. I haven't uh, fixed him since I got back from a trip yet. I've literally been running around like a crazy person. This is Saturday today and I'm filming three videos and I have four videos to edit. Welcome to the weekend. So I'm going to use concealer for a eye primer. Concealer a lot of times is seriously just as good as using an eye primer on your eyelids and my favorite concealer to use for this is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. For a while I was using this as my concealer like every day and it just preps the eyes really nicely, it doesn't crease, and I think that's what you have to be careful about if you use a concealer to prime your eyes. Just make sure that it's not a concealer that will crease on you. So for eyes and to contour my face, I'm going to use the It Cosmetics My Sculpted Face Palette. They just came out with a new version of this, which I haven't tried yet. I still have a lot of product in here, so... I'm just going to keep using this one. This is my favorite contour shade of life. If you have pale skin, you seriously need this. This highlighter and this are beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and contour my face first, maybe, or let's do the eyes. Yeah, let's do the eyes. So to start out, I'm going to put probably this color in the crease, taking the Morphe E27 in the whole Elite collection. I'm not sure if it'll still be on sale when this video goes up, but uh, it was on sale for 40% off. So you could get all these brushes for like $4, which is like awesome. I have a video on my favorite makeup brushes, so I shall link that down below. And using a contour shade or a bronzer in your crease is literally what I do every single day for work if I am wearing eyeshadow. It's just so easy and a lot of times they blend out easier than eyeshadows in my opinion. And if you don't have time to go digging through your drawers for like 
eyeshadow colors, just use the same thing that you put on your face. So this guy is one of my favorite products of life. This is a Physicians Formula Warm Nude Shimmer Strip Brick. I never remember what it's actually called. You can use this as an eyeshadow, a bronzer, a blush, a highlight, literally whatever you want. This is such an amazing product. I took this on my trip with me and it was literally the only eyeshadow I brought. Like I didn't bring an eyeshadow palette at all. I didn't bring a highlight. I use this every single day. These actually look beautiful on the lid. I think I'm gonna go in with this, one of these shades right here. Let's just blend. I'm just gonna put this on the lid. I'm gonna go back into the My Sculpted Face palette and take this dark brown shade right here. This is great for adding some dimension to your eyeballs. And I'm just putting this straight into the crease. As I was traveling by myself, I did a lot of like thinking, alone time thinking, and I did a ton of brainstorming for YouTube and just shit I want to do, and I'm super excited. I'm feeling like very re-energized and inspired and excited about YouTube, which is always good because it is really easy to kind of get in a creative rut. Now I'm going to take the highlighter in this palette, and I think I'm just going to pop this right on the center of the eyeball. Yeah. Not bringing this all the way inwards, but mostly just putting it on the center. For the lower lash line, I'm going to take this warmer brown shade right here and blend this on the lower lash line. So now I'm going to go back in with the Cover FX pencil and put this on the waterline. If you put a nude color or a white color on your waterline, it really helps to open up your eyes and make them look super big. Brig. And like I said, this stays on the waterline really well. My eyes also get red super easily, so I feel like putting a nude eyeliner on the waterline helps make me look not so like sleepy and bloodshot. I'm going to be putting lashes on today, so I'm just going to be blending a little bit of eyeliner on my top lash line. And to do this, you can just use any kind of brow product you have. I'm just taking the Dip Brow in Granite today. ColourPop makes a really cheap brow pomade. I just couldn't get mine open because their lids are freaking glued on there. But I'm just going to dip into this shade. It's like a dark black-ish brown color, and I'm using the Morphe M515 brush, it's just a super tiny brush, and I'm just smudging this onto the lash line. Like I said, I'm going to be putting on pretty dramatic lashes, so I don't need a whole lot of eyeliner. I'm putting this mostly on the outer half of my eye. Okay, I'm going to put a coat of mascara on super quick. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, actually, first I want to put something on the inner corner of my eyes. I think we're going to use the Physician's Formula thing again. And where's my brush? This doesn't have black on it, this brush is just like stained. So I'm just gonna go in with the super white shade right here. And this is a perfect highlight for the face. We might use it today. And just put that right on the inner corner. Look at how pretty that is. Can you guys see that? Does anyone else freaking hate that periscope sound? While I'm waiting for the eyelashes to dry before I put in falsies, I'm gonna go in to contour my face back with this bad boy. I'm gonna try out this brush. I've never used the M530 with this, and I think I've only used this like one time to contour, so let's try it out. Why is this mirror so dang close? Okay, I'm kind of really feeling this hair color. What do you guys think of this? Should I dye my hair this color or not? Highlight going in with this shade. This highlight is so underrated. This is like one of the prettiest highlight highlighters ever. Like, look, are we seeing that, people? I'm also going to take that down the bridge of my nose, just whatever is left over, and then on the cupid's bow. For blush, you could take this in here, the shade in here, if you wanted to, but I feel like that might be too much shimmer, so I'm going to take a matte blush. I'm using the Makeup Revolution Ultra Blush Palette in the shade Sugar and Spice. This has some really nice blush shades. There's also a couple highlights or, like, blush toppers, I feel like, I mean, on my skin tone, I probably wouldn't use that as a highlight, but it's nice to just put over blush. I think I'm going to use this shade right here. And these are pretty pigmented, so you just need a little bit. This is a really nice, just like, neutral shade. This hair's like getting stuck in my armpit. Alright, I think the lashes are dry. For lashes today, I'm using the Eyelashy Seducer. I've never tried this brand before. 
I think I got these off of Hot Look, which is Nordstrom's flash sale site. I'll leave it down below. Basically, I go in there every single day and you can find like really good deals on makeup and home stuff and clothes. I think I'm gonna have to trim these because they look pretty wide. So I'm gonna trim them and we'll be right back. Okay, so the lashes are on. I am feeling these lashes. I feel like they're nice and fluttery, but not too much. And I just put some mascara on my bottom lashes. So Urban Decay came out with these new Vice lipsticks. So I figured that I would try this guy out. This is in the shade Naked, the liner and the lipstick. Definitely a little bit more coral than I thought. Yeah, this is a pretty orangey nude. Not sure about this color. Let's see how the lipstick is. I might want to add like a pinkier lip gloss or something over top. Ooh, the formula looks really nice. It's like a nice satin. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna add something over the top of this. Definitely want more of a nude, so I'm gonna add some of this Maybelline 860 Smooth Taupe over the top. And I just need to wipe this off. Oh, there you go. I'm gonna go back in with the Cover Effects pencil and outline lipstick on the deep. Outline my lips with this. This is really nice because I have kind of like a double lip, which I usually line over. But if there's still some redness or something peeking through, I can conceal it with this. And it's really nice if you have a lip piercing or a lip ring, this is great because I can actually clean up around there. And also conceal blemishes with this. Let's just try it out. I actually still want my lips a little bit more nude. Okay, I just dabbed that a little bit. And I'm going to go back in with this smooth taupe and see if we can get it lighter now that I don't have that other thing underneath it. I'm going to go in with the Makeup Revolution palette again and use this shade right here and just put this right on the center of my lips. This will help your lips look a little bit more full and plump. Also helps to mattify your lipstick a little bit if you have kind of a glossy lip or a satin lipstick that you're wearing and you want to just make it stay a little bit longer and mattify it, you can just add an eyeshadow or a blush or whatever over top. Alright, so this is the final look. I hope you guys like this. If you do, give it a thumbs up so I know. Let me know down below what your favorite products are to use in different kinds of ways. Like I said, tons of exciting videos coming up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you join the Bayrido family and click the subscribe button down below. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye. Oh,